medical marijuana, you're considered probably the most um, marijuana friendly candidate supporting uh, medi oh, wow, medical marijuana. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, now we have in Colorado, which does support recreational marijuana, it, it's legal there, and we have this hundred, several hundred billion, or excuse me, million dollar um, business industry built around that. What do you make of that? Is that a good thing? I think it's a good thing to allow states to make their own laws. And so it's funny, when we had the presidential debate recently, many of the governors were standing up and beating their chest about how they love the Tenth Amendment, which leaves the powers not enumerated to Congress are left to the states and people until the governors decide they disagreed with marijuana, and then they decide they were all for federal laws telling states what to do. Um, but I'm sort of agnostic to the state of Colorado. I think the state of Colorado should get to decide. I am sympathetic, though, to uh, people who have kids who have intractable seizures and they've tried seven, ten different medicines and they want to try cannabis oil. Uh, most of the other people in the states would take that child away, send social services and put the mother in jail. I'm, I'm against that. I am for more freedom and I think particularly with the med medicinal sort of qualities of cannabis, people ought to get a chance to, to, to make that decision themselves. Last one for the panel here uh, before we move on to politics. Maddie Bear tweets in, who will you nominate as the next Speaker of the House? <laughs> A couple of people have asked me that. You know, I got one vote last time. So I, I haven't decided whether to actually act in the campaign. You know, anybody can be speaker. Even someone in the Senate or someone not in politics could be the speaker of the House. Your first time for you? Um, not real high on the list. But what I would say is that uh, what I've been telling people, and I, I do believe this, it ought to be somebody elected to less than three terms. Do you want really new blood? Do you want to really change things? If you go to who's next in the pecking order and leadership, you're going to get more of the same. So nothing against any 